In this show, you can join in the action from home. Download the Poker Play Along app from your app provider. Tonight sees the return of a very familiar face from season one. Gunter? No. Ronnie Barda. Ah, oh, Ronnie, my boy. He was all smiles and beatbox until he met Miss Finland. Then she bluffed the pants off him. Now he's the biggest laughing stock on the net since Star Wars Kid. Well, Ronnie is a man on a mission, and he's come to Monaco seeking exoneration. Not a chance. It's the hand that's been seen all around the world. People come up to me and like, you're that guy who got bluffed on, you know, by a supermodel, Sarah Chefik. That's you, right? Like, how do you fold? This is definitely the low point of my career. All in. Oh, oh my god! How is this happening? You know I have a four here. You know I have trips. I don't know if I can fold this hand. I don't know how you play. I never played with you before. I just can't be embarrassed again on international television, so it's it's over. I can't can't have that happen again. Is this real life? Did this happen to me? The cage's most notorious inmate is back. And this time we've thrown a top poker pro, an ex-international rugby player, and three, yes, three very talented ladies into the mix. You see me get ravaged last time. That is not happening again. I don't care if they bring 17 girls in. I'm keeping my face on straight and I'm going to kick their... Welcome to Monaco, playground of the rich and famous, and home to Heat 5 of the Pokestars.com Shark Cage. Before the action gets underway, players draw for seats. Online qualifier Karim Brutaig will take the one seat. So let's hope for Ronnie's sake, he isn't sat too close. Are you married? Not officially. Ten years uh, oh, wow. living together. I just asked that question before I keep hitting on you. Selfie, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, welcome everyone. We're gonna let the ladies go first. Bang first. Four. Five. Boom. Yeah. Like it. You like it? I like five a lot. I like five a lot. Like five <laughs> I like five a lot. I like it more than <laughs> Super excited. How can I not be super excited? I've actually never been so close to one million. Lil Margetz, uh, she's my roomie here, so I know her very well. If I knock her out, she has to sleep naked on the balcony. What do you think I'll get? A three seat. I think it's four. Oh. Just saying, I know what I'm doing, dude. I love it that I get a second chance to try to make it to the final table because I felt so robbed last time. Youngest to oldest? Okay. You're getting two. Boop. Yeah, yeah. That. Oh, but the qualifier position. <laughs> I love it. Hopefully I won't get uh, mesmerized by these girls' beauty and uh, be able to maintain my focus. It's kind of like a redemption for me, to save my face from what happened last time. Draw time. I think that I have the best chance to win the table. I have more experience than the other players, you know. So, I'm gonna take it down. Guess which one I'm you have. to you. You look after me. The thing about being sportsmen who've played at the highest level, none of us like losing. Don't underestimate us, that's what I say. I got position on the ladies this time, baby. Time to get some redemption. So let's get Heat 4 underway. Enter Karin Bruteig from Norway. Ah, hey. Spendy hey. again. Hey. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Karen, how you doing? I think we should call you Miss Norway, yeah. just Miss to be Norway. safe. <laughs> Miss Norway. <laughs> <laughs> They picked her, like, especially for you, I think. To torture me? Ding. Oh, nice. Because <laughs> they know you're always such a good time with hot scandies. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the shark cage. Thank you. Don't bluff, okay? Okay. So I'll just throw this bluff card away. Yeah, just put that in the trash, please. I'm, I don't want to see that card come out. <laughs> Guys, you're going to have to help me. I don't know the rules. 
Oh, yeah, I'll take, I'll take care of you. Yeah. Listen, I saw you online. I prefer Fatima to look at <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Everyone has seen it. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you? Yeah? You look ready. I don't know if she looks ready, but she does look familiar. My name is Karen Bruteig. Uh, I'm 26 years old from Oslo, Norway. I started playing poker, I think it was 2009. I learned it from my ex-boyfriend, and we just played for fun with friends, and we used to play heads up for taking out the trash and doing like vacuum cleaning and stuff. I lost the prop bed once to a friend, and then I had to play the Norwegian Championships in a bikini. So I had to like take off my clothes at the poker tables. It was really fun. So after a couple years, I took it more seriously. I play a lot of 1K events at EPT stops and some EPTs. EPT 100 in Barcelona last year, I had a really deep run. I had a really good Norwegian championships. I finished second in the heads up event. Also, I went pretty deep in the main event. I do think they're gonna underestimate me as an online qualifier, but I think that's an advantage to me because I think I might get away with more bluffs. It would be really fun for me to beat the pros, and then I can brag about it to my friends. Yeah, it would be great. When Karen doesn't play in a bikini, it's like we all lost a bet. Well, I, I have to say you guys are all hot, all three of you. <laughs> all three of you. Such a charmer. Oh, value. Yeah, yeah. Value, I mean it. Guys are all hot. <laughs> yeah, just, just I'm already nervous playing with all three of you. Yeah. Especially you. Pretty hot. Oh. Yeah, I think you're really beautiful. Oh, yeah, I don't get, good. I won't fall into the trap. No, fall into You're setting I'm, up. I'm being, I'm being for real, I'm being real. <laughs> Ooh. Like I said, you look like a hot librarian. <laughs> like, you just like, shh, do this, just shh. I oh, put God. slightly down my glasses. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 uh. Is that what I sound like? Yep. Well, we can all guess what Ronnie's thinking. If you want to get into the minds of the players at the table, get ready to use the Play Along app. Blinds, 5,000, 10,000 with a 2,000 ante. That's exciting. Yeah. And you're repeating. It's the first hand, you know? And no? you've experienced that already. Yeah, right? I mean, between veterans. Oh, look at him, look at him. He's playing. Ronnie has King 10. The Barda in his natural habitat. Raised to 23,000. Oh, he looks so serious yeah, all of a sudden. Things. Come on. He's raised. Ace Jack for Karen. Things not starting off well for Ronald. Yes, yes, Miss cool. Norway. Already getting in action. I'm loving this already. <laughs> so Karen has just called. Oh man, Andrea Kari's here too. Can you all please bust each other on the first hand? And we're at top. <laughs> Andre calls as well. Oh. Karen's out. Ah, yeah, no, I know this face. <laughs> cold, cold. Wow, what a read. <laughs> Snap read on your face. Oh, she sees me when I wake up. That's right, Ronnie. Percolate on that. Ace king for Leo. Call, call. Call, call. Does Leo raise again? I raise to 80. Yes, yeah, she does. See, see, there is. Was this girls against me? I love it. Yeah, yeah you, fucking, you love it, huh? <laughs> Andre's got a very kind face, but he's not a girl. So Ronnie's folded. Geez, now it's Karen who's not likely to be off to a very good start. Domination nation. Yeah, she calls the re-raise. Andre folds, so heads up to the flop. Not sure how often Leo's gonna squeeze with nonsense there, so this call is kind of me. The flop is queen, queen eight. Couple of ladies for a couple of ladies. Smooth. Really, really smooth. I'm taking notes. A check. Action goes check, check. The turn card is a deuce. Leo now a four to one favorite. A check. I was gonna say this pot could check down, but it looks like Karen is intent on making it a little bigger. 130. She bets. Maybe she thinks she can get some pairs to fold. Leo's clock is running. That means we're going to the river, and the very first hand, the cage is in play. 
It's gonna be really tough for Karen to get Leo to fold unless she really goes for the gusto. A third queen on the river. That's gonna make Leo's hand a lot harder to fold. Leo checks. And Karen is gonna bet it. I think we all know what card she's putting out. It's the red card. It's the bluff card. 250. I said Karen was gonna have to go for it, and she's gone for it. Because of her king kicker, Leo is ahead, so if she folds here, she'll be going into the cage. But if she calls Karen's bluff, the qualifier's going behind bars. Watch the live tells there, Brood Tag. Leo's time's running out. Ten seconds, Leo. I call. She calls! Cage time for Karin! Leo the librarian reads her like a book. And looks her up like she was in the reference section. Oh, it's wow. Jack Hyde. Nice hand, dude. Well done. First hand of the heat! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, well done. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> I was no, nervous I relax. for you, dude. <laughs> Try not to yuck it up too much, guys. She's a human being. And she'll have to spend an orbit inside the cage. I almost threw a chip, but yeah. I, I knew I was going to call. But yeah, now I can deflate. Nice, She dude. went for it, didn't she? Oh. Ooh. Yeah, you, you got the... Oh, dude, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Please, please. <laughs> Yeah. Did you read right in the oh. Ace King? I had you beat. No, I didn't have you beat. <laughs> good one, Ronnie. Poor Karen. Unless we got somebody in the cage. That was a good hand, too. Say call. I thought you were like uh, bluff catching with like uh, tens or but. Uh, I wouldn't call it. I you would, would not have called? She's the qualifier in the first hand. No, but. And the last qualifier in the first hand ruined me. <laughs> Sarah Shafak wasn't a qualifier, Ronnie. First time. I can't believe it. Karen. Cool. Too soon. What happened? Way too soon. <laughs> She's ballsy Norwegian. Might have lost my head a little bit. I made the pot too big too early, and I also got really nervous. I don't think I play that very well, and it was not a great start to my tournament. I mean, I lost almost half my stack in the first hand, and I'm not very happy about that. If you'd like to tweet your sympathies for Karin, use the hashtag SharkAge. Don't forget you can join in the action from home. Make sure you download the Poker Play Along app. It's hard not to feel for our online qualifier, Karen Brutig, stuck in the PokerStars.com shark cage after just one hand. Too soon, what happened? Way too soon. She looked so confident when she put that money in. Wow, she didn't have anything. That's quite a ballsy thing to do. Brilliant. Wonderful. It was ballsy, like first hand. I guess the Scandi girls like to bluff on their first hands. She came in swinging. Unfortunately for Karen, it didn't work. She was facing a better player than me. I was like enough to send her to the gates, which was good. Shark cage for me in the first hand, damn it. More like Karen Brutal. Not only did she lose a huge pot, but now she's gonna get blinded off while she's stuck in the cage. Meanwhile, Leo's the early chip leader. Wow, dude. Nah, I did look pretty good. Pretty nice. Here you go. $2,000. Yeah! Bluff bonus. We are going out, we are yes. going out for dinner. Yeah. Can I, we can afford one second. What time? Depends. Yeah, what time? It depends. I'll behave. Yeah, right. You can create atmosphere by... Yes, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you can do the music. <laughs> You'll entertain you guys, you know? Ronnie, calm down. Meanwhile, it isn't too late to start playing along at home. Lions, still 5,000, 10,000 with a 2,000 ante. Fatima first to speak here. Aces! Tell you what, let's go in the tank with Fatima and play this hand from her perspective. With aces, sold. From you? Yeah. See? Si. Yo. Hey, English only. I don't... Well, I don't <laughs> the balcony tonight. Fair enough. No. <laughs> uh, that's naked on the balcony, right? And just for reference, what side of the building are you guys staying on? Cool. What are you doing? What? We, we Why are you room. calling me? Why not? Why aren't you taking me seriously? The weakest link. Yeah. So Fatima's raised, called by one player, 
ex-rugby star Kieran Bracken. I really hope Kieran gets sent to the cage so I can say, release the Brackacken. 9-5-4 on the flop. And Kieran leads. Weird. We can really only call here. Can I see? No, you can't. <laughs> Obviously. Fatima does call. A five on the turn, pairing the board. And Kieran bets again. We're in the same spot as before. We can't raise, we can't fold, gotta just call. If we raise, he could fold all of his bluffs or just call us with a five or something. We certainly can't throw away aces. <clears throat> Fatima's time ticking away. Oh, sorry. She calls. We're going to the river. The cage is in play. Another nine. Double pad board now. And that's a really terrible card for us because we were hoping he had a nine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. We don't know if he's bluffing or value betting here. You hit your nine, didn't you? Yep. Yeah, uh, uh. That's fine. That's fine. What if he's bluffing? Did I do something no, 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 wrong? No, no, it's no, fine. It's fine. Well, you hit your nine. That's what's wrong about this. <laughs> <laughs> you hit your other nine. That's the problem. Tough to fold with the cage dynamic. That's where you were so quick to bet. Really? I think so. <laughs> no? Yeah. We'll get two in the, we'll else? get two in the cage. What? <laughs> Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Oh. Two in the cage. Can you count down? Because I might Five, still... four, time. Time bank chip. Oh, my life. It's annoying when you want to call, but you know, you know it's that he has point. it. He has a <laughs> nine. <laughs> I like Fatima's read, but with the cage around. Yes, it's okay. You have your nine, huh? You can just tell me. It's I okay. Even see the nines. You didn't see the nines? No. What did you see? The fives. No, 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 no. no. Oh, you want to know if we got fives? I actually want Six. There's five seconds five, to go. Four. Fatima calls. Let's, uh, Kieran, let's see this card, please. Value. Oh, yeah, I knew value. It. value. You have your nine. Please, Kieran. So cute, so oh, I knew it too. Oh. It is. Sure enough, Karen had a nine. She had like sevens. I had an over pair. Thanks. Yeah. Fatima, uh -huh. which ace do you have? Yeah, ace Jack or? Aces. Eights? Aces. Aces. I had aces. <laughs> She's telling the truth. I'm still annoyed right now. It's like. Ah, oh, there's the Fatima we know and love from season one. <laughs> ah, sh No bull, please. A bit. I knew it. Fatima is a kind of mouthy. No, she's she keeps swearing. I'm still annoyed right now. It's like there's a Scandi at the table and I'm the Viking. There's probably be a lot of bleeps. Beep, beep. Yeah, it's your nine, didn't you? My life. <laughs> That's creative. Right? That was awesome. I hate, I hate rugby. Why I hate you rugby. Oh, no, it's value, then you don't go to the Come cage. On. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I'm, hmm. What are you doing? Yes, oh, I'm going to, uh, it feels like I'm going to be the first out. Trust me, I'll be the first. I, I feel it. <laughs> <gasps> Leo raising with nines. Jack 10 suited for Ronnie. Can somebody get a bar of soap for Fatima's mouth? Serious call. Oh, oh she didn't cuss that time. You just throw them away. You might, yeah. <laughs> hey. oh. <laughs> I call. Out of spite, just like before. So four players going to the flop here. And no one's a huge favorite. The flop is 8-7-6. Leo's still ahead with nines. Best hand gets better. She bets into three opponents. Well, that's going to look strong. Honey's got a little gut shot. But he's going to play it safe. He folds. Andre with an under pair, folds, and Fatima passes as well. <sighs> Heads up, we get in. We don't get it in, but we play. We, we definitely play. Yeah, that sounds massive. Massive. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, really? 
think Fatima's still tilted. Meanwhile, Karin's time is up. Release the Karakin! And she's back. Oh, there she is. Welcome back, welcome and back. And we introduce back. the qualifier, <laughs> Kevin Rutai. Wow. Fatima's mean. That was Come boring. Thank you. <laughs> I promise yeah, never to bluff again. That was so boring. I had fun when I was in my cage. You did, huh? Yeah. No, you didn't. If you think about it, aren't we all in a cage? Don't think, Joe. It's not good for you. <laughs> what? Action on Kieran. Ace nine. No, oh, another nine. Too soon. Uh, cheeky oh, one. He's gonna limp. I have limp. Uh, I don't trust. Leo, with another pocket pair. Sixes this time. Upside down nines. She calls as well. Ronnie with Jack do suited. He completes. And Karen will check her option in the big blind with 7-4. Probably very excited just to play a hand. Wow, Ronnie flops a flush. Karen with two pair. Ronnie starts with a piece of cheese and flops Gouda. 50,000. Karen bets. Pretty much the size of the pot. Karen, 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 Karen. Ronnie calls. Are in the qualifier folds. Heads up to the turn. Kieran does have outs. You mean the rugby player? Ronnie knows rugby's a sport, not a musical instrument, right? Well, that changes nothing. Ronnie checks. Kieran bets again. Ronnie could put in a raise here, try to get value out of the king of clubs or two pairs and sets. Fifteen seconds left on his shot clock. Ten seconds. And that is a race. Now, if I'm Kieran, I'm going to have a hard time believing Ronnie here. If you want to raise, you should say it. Yeah. Or if you raise. want to call. Raise. But what I would not do is raise. 300. Wow, he's made it 300,000. Ronnie's only going to be super strong or super weak. It's like all over again, deja vu. <laughs> Just as hot. <laughs> as Miss Finland. You're oh, just really? as hot oh, as Miss really? Finland. Oh, thank you, darling. Thank I mean, you, darling. yeah, yeah, I don't hold it wrong. Well, in this situation, Ronnie is super strong and he calls Kieran's race. We're going to the river, the cage is in play. The deuce changes nothing. Ronnie's got a lock on the hand. He checks to Kieran. 100, uh, 100. And Kieran bets. Pretty small bet. Yeah, yeah, this one. And he's playing the value card. Um, I'm never folding my hand. I just want to know if I should be putting it in. I think calls the play. Any other spot I'd, I'd, I'd raise here, but I'm not. He's hoping to bluff catch. This one. Kieran not bluffing. I, I, have, I have the second nuts. So. But Ronnie with the best hand, and he wins a huge pot. It worked out for you with a little block bet. Like I wanted him to bet more on the river. <laughs> I wanted to admit, I was admit, I was gonna check min raise a river actually. And then I was like, if I check min raise a river, and he moves and in, and, I, yeah, and he has the nuts, and I'm out. I'm gonna jump into the Mediterranean Sea, <laughs> and I'm gonna drown myself. <laughs> we all understand. We all understand. Hey. I heard you're on a, a World Cup winning team. Mm. That's awesome. Mike Tyndall was here. Do you remember him? Yeah, yeah. He got to the final. Were you in the final? Yes, no, no, I got blocked off pretty bad by Sarah <laughs> Yes, you did. I really like Ronnie, so why do I want bad things to happen to him? Karen knows what I'm talking about. I've been getting needling from everybody around the world. Australia, Las Vegas, and Europe. If I end up in South Africa, trust me, there'll be few people that, that seen that hand. Could you successfully bluff a pro? You could be playing alongside some of the best in the game on the EPT. Qualify now at PokerStars.com. Beatboxing Casanova Ronnie Bada has taken his first steps on the road to redemption. I felt more like I belong here. Um, I'm never folding my hand. I just want to know if I should be putting it in or just calling it. 
I'm trying to show him who's boss. But can he maintain the tempo on the PokerStars.com shark cage? <coughs> What's this? <coughs> He's got a good beat. Oh, wow. Oh, what a time to be alive. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> That's quality, that is. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. yeah Thanks. Great. Is the thing you first learn is boots and caps, isn't it? Boots. What? No, I just started like, you want me to teach you guys how to do it? You start with. Yeah, come on, let's try it. Come on. So tight, tighten your lips. I can't do that. No. Touch. <laughs> oh yeah, man. You might need the umbrella if so I then, start doing that. But do you have to do it sideways like you do? It's like you're spitting. Yeah, no, this one's look, look. All there. No, that's yeah, the thing. But I can do that. Sam. Try the try the high. Tuck, 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 tuck. Right. Oh, tuck in. Dude, you've trained your tongue. I don't want to know how you did that. But <laughs> no way. How do I do that? Oh, I <laughs> how do I you do might not the million, but you might awesome. get that. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I can do all of that. It sounds like music. It is music. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not. It is music. I know what That's quality. Sounds, it sounds like elect. Like, it sounds like instrument. a CD. Yeah, a CD. Or Wait, later, we can uh, beatbox. You can dance for me. We'll do something later. No, no? like you trust me. I'm arrhythmic. Uh, yes. No, but, you're, not, <laughs> you're from Spain. You can move your. You can move your. No. You don't can't salsa and merengue and bachata. The exception. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> she thinks not. Something's going on here. No. 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 Can you think of other ways for Leo to let Ronnie down gently? Tag your tweets. Shark Cage. Blinds right now are 6,000, 12,000 with a 3,000 ante. Action's going to be on Kieran. I'll call. You call? 12, That's 12. 12,000. Yeah, that and two yellows. I fold. Kieran just calling with ace queen. So it's just good. Like, yeah. let me do that. Kieran's rugby position was scrum half. Being left with only half of his scrum sounds like just about the worst sports injury I've ever heard of. Ronnie completes with 8-5. Karen checks her option with King Jack. Can you still have kids with a half scrum? Top pair for Karen. Please stop. Seriously, just stop. Man, Karen's running hotter than Lord Helmet's coffee. Ronnie with a straight draw leads. Karen folds. Get out of there, Fatima. 54. She's just helping him with the chips. She feels bad about the half scrum. Kieran raises and gets called by Ronnie. Turn card is a deuce. Kieran now a nine to one favorite. Similar? That's not. Actually goes check, check. The cage is in play as the board bricks out for Ronnie and Kieran improves to trips. If Ronnie tries to bluff this, he is going to end up in the cage. He is going to bluff. And this is an easy call for Kieran. He'll earn himself $2,000. I said easy call. Maybe he's thinking about raising, but hopefully he realizes that raising is probably going to take two grand out of his pocket. I want to raise. No! Okay, he says All in. raise. Oh man, the nerds at home are probably freaking out right now. And Ronnie snap faults. This card. No kidding. Ronnie escapes the cage and Kieran misses out on money. Nah, he's loaded. He's got a whole scrum full of money. Could have called him, put me in the cage. Yeah, that. Lines are up to 8,000, 16,000. Ante of 4,000. Actions on Ronnie. Nine, seven of hearts. That's a race. Karen folds. As does Andre. Kieran has jacks. Still running hot. Cool. Well, this is call of the 35? No re raise. And no one else coming into the hand. Heads up to the flop. All hearts. A flush for Ronnie. Is that the second time he flopped a flush? Forget what I said about Kieran's run good. Check. 
He does have a redraw to a better flush. Which means Ronnie's probably gonna play this pretty fast with a 9 high flush. He bets. And Kieran calls. Ronnie's not gonna like to see another heart even without knowing Kieran's hand. The turn is red, but it's a diamond. Now, from Kier's perspective, with that ace out there, he's got a lot more reason to think he could be beat. He checks a second time, and it looks like Ronnie's going to bet again. Hmm. It's just going to be super hard for Kieran to fold such a good mm. flush draw, especially with a hand that might be good. His clock is running. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Cool. Going to the river. The cage in play once again. The river is another ace. Ronnie with a lock on this. Kieran checks for a third time. Pretty good run out for Ronnie. He's gonna know he can value bet this, and he's really hoping Kieran's got an ace. There's the value card. And here comes the bet. About three quarters of the pot. I should just go all in, shouldn't I? No! no. I can't advise you on that. Am I going to be the first player to leave? Yes! All in. Why? Well, Ronnie certainly can't fold for such a small raise. Let's hope he at least knows enough to turn his hand to a... Oh, no, he doesn't. And that will be the end of Kieran Bracken. In this tournament. No, oh, I'm not going to get to say release the brick Akin. Oh. Good game, brother. Cheers, man. man. Cheers, man. Good game. I had to go. Thanks I had to go. Yeah, good game, man. Kieran, everybody. Cheers, man. Good game, Kieran. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, loser. <laughs> Cheers. Good yeah, luck. he's the shark, man. He oh. ran into oh, the yeah. shark. Keep flopping flushes. I'm a shark. <laughs> and Ronnie takes the chip lead. Ooh. I'm sure Kieran's very good at rugby. Oh, God, I'm gutted. I still think I should have won that last one. God, I can't believe it. Luckily, I wasn't bluffed. At least I can say that. You shouldn't kick yourself in the butt for being the first one out. You're, you're awesome, buddy. You come into our stage and playing poker with the Sharks. Picture me trying to go into rugby. I get my face kicked in. I did enjoy it. It was nice to win a couple of hands. Um, but these guys are sharp, you know. They're so sharp. I'd like Fatima or Leo to, to, to go on and win. But actually, I think, I think Ronnie, something tells me that today's going to be his day. You know, Kieran gets around pretty good for a guy who's only got half a scrum. Can barely even tell. I told you to stop. Well, he's gone now. Action is on Andre. He faults. Fatima's out. Leo has jack three. She folds that. Ronnie with queen six. 40. That's a raise. Karin, king seven. Come on, Karin. Cool. So these two will see a flop. What do you got behind? These three have three greens, right? Uh, yeah. OK, that's all. It's fine. That's Top pair for Karin. Second pair for Ronnie. Karin should get a little back here. Ronnie bets. Karin calls. Ronnie's probably going to shut down now after he gets called, if he doesn't improve. 10 on the turn. Karin now an 88% favorite. Yep, Ronnie checks. And Karin checks as well. We're going to the river, the Cage Street. And it's another king. Trips for the qualifier. Well, Ronnie can't really bet for value, so if he bets, it's going to be a bluff. Yeah. 
Karn's doing a great job of looking disinterested, even though she wants him to bluff real bad. Oh, Ronnie's playing the value card. Ronnie, you turd. 80. Well, you could argue it's a thin value bet. I just feel bad Karn can't send him to the cage. She does get a chunk of his chips, though. Bad beat, Karn. Even when she runs good, she runs bad. I see. I actually thought I was value betting, so. So just to know I'm not, angle, yeah, not angling. I see this. Ronnie wanted to make it clear he's not doing a Shemian. Ha! <laughs> Karin, steaming. Yeah, she may have won a pot, but she is still the shortest stack at the table. And Ronnie, still the big chip leader. With the blinds going up again to 10,000, 20,000 with a 5,000 ante. And on this hand, we're going to be in the tank with Karin. We'll only see her cards. A seven of diamonds. Cool. Too much. Cool. She limps in the small blind. All right. I check. And Andre checks his option in the big blind. Oh, uh, we're giving Andre a free flop, huh? Karen pairs a seven. Plus, there's one diamond out there. She bets. It's a dry board, so if and when Andre calls, he's going to have a king a lot. He does call. The turn card is a queen. I'm fine with us checking here. Good. What does Andre do? He checks behind. Power up the cage. We're going to the river. Ten of spades. So various straight and flush draw combos get there on the end. I'm all for just giving it up here and not getting sent to the cage by trying to bluff again. She checks. Of course, now we're probably going to face a bet from Andre, and we could still get sent to the cage. Yeah, we don't know if this is a value bet or a bluff. Karen's got to ask herself, how did I get here? I presume she flew. <laughs> but seriously, she's got to ask herself which is more embarrassing, go to the cage again or just losing a hand? Honestly, I think she's losing, but I don't want to be responsible for her going back to the cage. She's already steaming. And she's running out of time. Time. So which card has Andre put out? When you play on TV table and in a tournament that you can win a million dollars, Everybody cared about it, so I tried to, to take advantage of it. I think I might have looked kind of nervous, and also that I acted a bit too fast. Is someone heading to the cage? I need to know! It's decision time for Karin Brutai at the PokerStars.com Shark Cage. Brazilian pro Andrea Kari's made a bet on the river. If he's bluffing, he could potentially send our online qualifier back behind bars. Karin's played a time bank chip. Oh, look, guys, there's something going on. I still don't know about this one. Yeah, pay attention. As someone who doesn't actually have to go into the cage if I'm wrong, I think Andre's almost always got us here. As someone who's afraid that Karen's steam rage may cause her to destroy the cage with a devastating Norwegian kick punch, I think she should just pay it off. I just don't want to go in the cage. She calls. Andre shows value. Told ya. He paired his queen on the turn. I don't want to say that Karen's steaming, but I'm pretty sure you could cook clams in her ears. Andre not that far behind Ronnie now in the chip stakes. And the blinds are going up to 12,000, 24,000 with an 8,000 ante. Thank you. Actions on our qualifier. 6 4 off suit. Karen folds. Decent ace for Andre. He raises. Fatima with the same hand, only it's suited. So she re raises. Leo folds jack-10. 
Ronnie in the big blind also passes. How many chips do you have left? I had like seven, 70, I think. I don't think either of these players will fold, so most of the time I think this is going to be a pretty long build up to a chop pot. Everyone loves a chop pot. Ten seconds. And Andre requests more time. Gotta be thinking about putting in another bet. All, in. All you can eat. And he's got Fatima covered. Fatima knows Andre's not gonna be doing this super light, so she's trying to figure out how often he's gonna be ahead. But I don't see her folding. Time is ticking away. And Fatima folds! Wow. No, you did not just fold. I think I made a good fold. You didn't. No, I was like, I had a close. Hand. Yes. Yeah. Andre coming on strong like a cheap cologne. With that hand, he takes the chip lead. Andre Akari. I know Andre Akari very well. Yeah, he's a tough opponent. He's like the Negranio of Brazil. He's just a legend. He's a good player, unfortunately. Andre is slowly getting stronger and stronger. I'm the chip leader right now. I have a, a lot of chips, but you have to play in the right way. My job is think what they are thinking. He's an extroverted person. When you talk to somebody, you can get much more information. Trustworthy. Poker is about bluff, you know? I love the guys, kind, sweethearted guy. And then I take advantage of these guys. It's horrible, but that's what it is. And that's poker. Andre. I love him. He is crushing right now. He's chip leader with more than two million. And it's Fatima who's now bringing up the rear. Ha! <laughs> Action on the big stack. Ace four for Andre. So close to aces. He raises. Fatima folds. Leo's out. Round to Ronnie. Nope. Karen has a pair of threes. And she calls. Andre takes the lead. He pairs his four on the flop. Karin cannot catch a break. You'd hope on a seven deuce four board your threes would be good, but nope. Action goes check, check. And now Andre has trip fours. Poor Karen. She's running worse than a PC operating system. And now she bets. Andre taking the requisite amount of time to make it look like he doesn't have trip force. He's a 95% favorite here. He calls the bet. We're going to the river with the cage in play. It's a king. Karn's reaching for chips. I don't know if this will be a bluff or a value bet. The only thing I'm sure of is that she's going to lose whatever she puts out there either way. Ten seconds. Well, there's a bet. Which card is she going to play? Value. She probably won't get raised, at least. That's the good news. Andre calls. And Karen loses another pot. I love that song. Not now, Fatima. You're going to get Andre kick-punched. <laughs> Only trips. Andre extends his chip lead. Look at him. He loves it. <laughs> While our online qualifier has slid into the danger zone. Danger zone! As the blinds go up to 15,000 and 30,000 with a 10,000 ante. 10,000 ante! Leo, first to speak here. She folds. Ronnie's out. Karen with ace tray. And she is all in. GL, GL. Andre folds. I call. And Fatima calls with aces. Wow. Wow is right. Karin has gotten work today like a Tuesday morning after a long weekend. Not good. Understatement of the year. 
Yeah. Let's get it straight out One, there. Two, yeah. Let's yeah, not this, this time. Oh, it happened to me before. Okay, don't call. I'm not. Oh, what, what should I do? What should I do? Tell me. Tell me. Just tell me. You just chill. I'll just chill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Correct, Fatima. You got it. We can sing. Sing some. No, no. no it's like I'm, I'm ahead. I'm, I'm not going to make a big scene. Yeah. You're slightly ahead. I'm slightly ahead. Slightly ahead. <laughs> Understatement of the year. Oh, there's a three. Oh, yes. I normally like to see the best hand win, but I'd really like Karin to get a little lucky today. Always a sweat. The qualifier has two immediate outs. <laughs> <laughs> and they torture you too. They give it a, they do it a little card. while. Three. Whoop. Karin still with two outs. She needs a three on the river to survive. Three. The river is. A five. Round of applause for Karen Pease, online qualifier for Nice playing okay, with you. Man. I'll see you around nice playing, playing with Pretty you. Good. good luck, everyone. Yeah. Karen Brutike eliminated. And Fatima is now back in this thing. It's been a brutal day for Brutike, but at least she didn't have to do it in a bikini. I'm very happy I made it to the shark cage and had this experience. And we introduce the qualifier, Cameron Brutai. I met a lot of really great people, but I'm a bit disappointed about my own performance. Things really didn't go my way, but still, it was a really great experience. I would like to see one of the girls, Fatima or Leo, win the shark cage, but I think Andre is gonna take this down. The experience of playing in like a pressured environment is good for me. I've learned about keeping my cool and not stressing. So yeah, I'll take that with me. Next time. Here we go. Juicy, juicy. Ronnie comes face to face with his fears. As a shark, when we make our plays, we stand by them and we have, we have to be confident about what we're doing. And someone will be locking up a seat in the final. Only four players left. At this moment, anyone can be a big threat. You think you set me up? You didn't set me up. I need to know!